Hey guys, it's Shannon and welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Uh, so today I am continuing the Silhouette Studio series for you guys. If you missed the last couple videos I created, you can go see those. I will have them linked down in the description box below. Um, I created a video with the best cut settings for vinyl, stencil material, and contact paper. And I also created a tutorial on how to create font designs within Silhouette Studio. So you can go check those out after this video. Uh, if you guys are interested in more of the Silhouette Studio uh, tutorials, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below about what kind of questions you have that maybe I could create a tutorial on for you. So today I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial on the trace feature, which is a wonderful feature within Silhouette Studio. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong and leave me a comment down below, but I'm not sure that the Cricut has this feature. Um, I want to say in the past, I know for sure it did not, and that was a huge uh, bonus to the Silhouette Studio program that you could trace different designs and kind of create your own. But this is definitely a huge perk for Silhouette Studio if you have a Silhouette, a Cameo, um, or a Portrait machine. And let me show you, this is just a design, this is my logo that I created in Photoshop. So I just basically went up here, file, opened it, and this is what pops up as your file. It helps if your design is very simplistic, so black and white. If you have a colored design and it's all one color, then that's fine. However, if it's black and white, it does help uh, make the, the tracing process a little easier. So once you have your design opened, you just come over here to this, I always, to me it looks like a piece of bread or a piece of toast over here, this little icon which takes you into the trace panel. And then you'll come up here to the select trace area and click on it. What it's going to do is going to create this uh, drag box. So you're basically going to drag a gray square over your design. And whatever's within that gray area is what it's going to trace. So once you have your design overlaid with that box, you just let go of your mouse button. And it automatically selects that black from your design. And you can either do an outline of your design, so you can see the, the very thin yellow here, so it will just do an outline of it. Most of the time I use the filled in design, um, I rarely use the outline. So you can play with it and see what kind of projects would work with the outline for you, but for me, using vinyl decals, most of the time the solid fill is what works for me. So once your uh, program has selected your design here, you can actually adjust some of these settings. This threshold one is one I use most of all, and it will actually kind of remove some of the design or make it thicker. So you don't want it too thick. As you can see here, you're losing that detail within the design. So you just drag it back and forth until your design you see is what you are wanting traced with your machine. And then once your design is set up and ready to go, you just hit this trace button at the bottom. And then what I do is I drag my design off and I just delete that because we don't need that anymore. And then I select my design. I usually fill it in with black just so I can see it against the white background. And then you can come in here and zoom in and just check your design, make sure it's nice and crisp. As you can see, my design has some flaws here. You can come back in with the erase tool and kind of clean that up if you wish. You can go back in and redo this and select trace and adjust your threshold again, uh, just to make a nice clean design. And basically that is all there is to creating your own traced design. So I hope that this tutorial was really helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments down below. Also hit that subscribe button. I do regular DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll continue the Silhouette Studio series on Tuesdays for you all. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss those. 
and hit the bell so that you get notified when my videos do go live. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.